All new this hour, new reports from two national real estate firms say Portland's downtown office vacancy rate is among the highest in the nation. Well, as the city's core tries to get back on its feet, Fox 12's Connor McCarthy asked one prominent local property owner and a small business downtown what more needs to be done to get people back to the central city. He joins us now live from downtown. Connor, how does Portland compare to other West Coast cities? Well, Nora and Riel, it's no secret that people here in Portland know that office workers are not really returning to their office spaces here in downtown Portland, and this new data reinforces that. But this data also shows that Portland is in line with a trend that many major West Coast cities are seeing, like San Diego, Los Angeles, and Seattle. Now, work, people that I spoke to that work here in downtown say getting people back to the central city is the final piece to its revitalization. It's a drum Portlanders, businesses, and local leaders keep beating. Downtown is empty. We're really in a ghost town. If you walk down the streets of Portland on any day of Friday at 9 a.m., you will find absolute solitude. Lisa Schroeder says the foot traffic has still not rebounded since the pandemic, so she is reducing the hours of her iconic downtown restaurant, Mother's Bistro, to be closed Sunday and Monday nights. After analyzing the numbers, after trying it for over a year, I realized that it was costing us more money to stay open than it would if we just didn't open those nights. The Portland Metro Chamber's data shows tourists are making a return to the central city, but office workers still are not. New data from Colliers and a CBRE, two national real estate firms, shows Portland's office vacancy rate is one of the highest in the country. The report from Colliers puts Portland at number one with a 32% rate, and CBRE says Portland is sixth in the country at 29.7%. The two firms differ in what they define as downtown Portland, but both expect the number to rise as more leases expire in the next year. We've gone from being a darling nationally in a couple of years to uh, facing a crisis of downtown office vacancy. Jordan Schnitzer is one of Oregon's most prominent real estate developers. He says current and potential tenants point to public safety, open drug use, and homelessness as problems for them doing business in downtown. Schnitzer is confident the city and state are addressing these concerns and he expects the public will start to see noticeable changes in the next year. But he says the biggest issue is Portland and Multnomah County's notoriously high taxes. Uh, those taxes go to some very good things, but the fact is, you know, what business wants to stay in Multnomah County as opposed to going to Clackamas, or Clark County in Washington, um, you know, and uh, what business wants to come relocate here now that they've uh, uh, left. A spokesperson for Mayor Wheeler's office says they already have 20 applications for a tax incentive that encourages businesses to lease downtown with additional enhancements under consideration. Schnitzer says office workers need to return downtown because he sees converting commercial space to apartments impossible. One of the biggest reasons is that many of the buildings cannot accommodate residential tenants because they are not earthquake code compliant. 85% of the office buildings in downtown Portland are over 30 or 40 years old. They're grandfathered in as offices, but if you change the use to an apartment, you've got to bring it to code. The cost of seismically upgrading a lot of those buildings for apartments, it won't work. Both Schnitzer and Schroeder say the city and state are making an impact on cleaning up downtown and addressing public safety. But the final piece of the puzzle to have the Rose City's downtown bloom once again is to have people in it. Ticket. Look at Paris. Look at New York. Why are those cities thriving? Because people live in Paris. People live in New York City. In our downtown core, we have hardly any residences. Go downtown. Do some shopping, grab some lunch, go to the symphony, go to something at night, start, take back your city. Well, Nora and Riel, the mayor's office, also says the mayor is in constant communication with business leaders about trying to get more people in office spaces. In fact, they say just last week, a company called Legit Script moved into Portland's iconic big pink building here in a downtown. Now, the mayor's office also says that they're committed to the central city revitalization plan that was announced during the business summit at the end of last year. That includes cleaning up the streets and focusing on public safety. For now, reporting live in downtown Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon. Connor, thank you. And